Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for February 26th, 2020. Well, my goodness, <laughs> we have had a tremendous couple of days, and I am certain that traders are on the edge of their seat wondering what comes next. I got to tell you, I don't know, and I don't think anybody knows what's going to come next, but how about we settle in? Grab yourself something to drink. Let's take a look at the charts and see if we can make a little bit of sense out of what's happened in these charts. Get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, we have seen quite the price action, even in the futures market. Um, late last night, we had futures that were um, up um, like 170 points um, and um, this morning we have now swung those features back into uh, negative territory and they continue to vacillate all over the place so we're seeing few, big large um, whipsaws in the price action of the market and some serious concerns obviously going on with such a strong sell-off. Yesterday we had the CDC come out and tell us that we are very likely to see a substantial breakout here in the United States and that Americans should be prepared and get prepared for that potential outcome. Of course, the market didn't like that very much, and we saw massive selling um, coming into the market yesterday, and we just continued to push down throughout the day um, in the markets. We had Treasury bonds, 10-year uh, Treasury bonds, reaching um, the uh, record low levels yesterday. We had oil collapsing before below $50 a barrel. Healthcare stocks, insurance companies selling off. Travel companies uh, just absolutely tanking yesterday as the impacts, uh, the uncertainty of the impacts of this virus continue to unfold. And as we continue to see um, outbreaks in different places around the world um, really starting to create some attention in the overall market. So let's take a look at what we've got going on now. <laughs> it was just yesterday that I told everybody in Right Way Options that there was a possibility and a prob well, actually a probability um, after um, Monday sell-off that we would see um, at least eventually we would see um, the diamonds test the 200-day moving average. Now, I had no expectations, uh, no clues that it would do that the very next day. Uh, typically, we get some kind of a relief rally before that occurs. But of course, uncertainty like this and news events can create these really big price moves in charts. And that's certainly what occurred here yesterday. So let's take a look at this. If we draw a line of support across here, that's where I was looking for that support maybe to come in. You can see we had a test in here and all these levels uh, through here in the chart. And I thought, you know, 200 day moving average seems like a pretty logical place to go. Well, we ended up smashing right through that yesterday closing on down and now this morning we're showing uh, a little bit of decline here in the market let's hope we can hold somewhere around the lows of the day but let's take a look at some other levels in the chart that could possibly be attacked so first off we have a price level right through here now it's not a substantial price level unless I really pull this chart back and you can see there is a price level right through here here that could sustain us um, um, today we'll have to wait and see and if that doesn't hold here in the diamonds let's look for a level down in here as a place that we may find some price support now you know common sense would tell you that we have reached a short-term oversold condition 
and that a relief rally should begin at about any time. The problem is we have this big uncertainty hanging over our heads out there um, with this coronavirus and those impacts that the market is really trying to grapple with what this really means. So we can't really um, we can't really um, come out and say, hey, I, I expect this to just take off and rally big time um, because there's no evidence of that. And there we really are in um, kind of an untested water here right now. Anything is possible. So I want to caution everyone to be extremely careful. And I want to remind everyone that cash is a position and there is no shame standing on the sidelines waiting for this to settle down and giving it to give us better clues than trying to rush in or speculate around this you may believe that this is way overblown and that's okay it's okay to believe that but it's not okay to rush into this incredible volatility and risk your capital um, in, in in that big bet because we could certainly continue this selling uh, today. It would also be unwise to probably to be chasing this short to the downside at this point because it is so extended we could easily reverse very very quickly. So both sides of those equations puts us in a situation where most traders should probably just be standing aside, protecting your capital and waiting for the next good clue that comes into the market. And when will that be? I have no idea, but we need to be patient and wait for that. Let's take a look at the SPY real quick. SPY um, smashing down through its 50 day moving average as you can see and pushing down toward that 200 day. Now we do have some price support in this chart as you can see across this area and that's kind of where we were uh, slowing down yesterday trying to find some support and a little bit of support right in here. Let's hope we gain some support in here soon on that chart, but we cannot rule out the possibility if we continue to push down and break through these levels that the SPY could also come down here and test that 200 day moving average, which would be a brutal day um, if that were to, to occur and um, would likely push those Dow future or Dow um, even um, lower than its 200 day uh, actually sharply lower than its 200 day if we feel that much pressure here in selling so keep that in mind there's no evidence yet of any kind of relief rally or bounce so be careful in speculating that we are going to get one let's take a look at the queues now the queues just um, yesterday finally gave up its 50-day moving average and I'd say finally because it's been the strongest index um, in the market but certainly there's been a lot of technical damage that has been created by the sell-off. Now, right down in here, you can see there's a little teeny tiny back and forth, little bit of support level. And we kind of tried to catch some support, at least at the close in there, right off of that area. Please note that if we continue lower and we are moving down this morning, there is some support down in here. There is some support lower down in here that could potentially catch us. But if these levels continue to fail, just keep in mind that that 200 day moving average um, could certainly be tested here eventually in the chart. And that's that big pullback that no one wants to see um, happen in the market. But we certainly want to um, recognize that that possibility does exist. Now, one thing I would say about any of these charts is if we do get a rally back, be careful not to chase those rallies because a sell-off like this was going to create a lot of volatility. You could jump into that trade and, and we could move up two or 300 points and then get whipsawed right back down the next day. So be careful um, in chasing these. Um, plan your plan your risk very, very carefully and realize any rally back in these in indexes as we run into those resistance levels could just be the next opportunity to short or push this market lower as this uncertainty continues to roll out. Let's look at IWM. IWM, wow, what an ugly day yesterday giving up um, this support level and crushing right through 
uh, this level here right into its 200 day moving average. And let's hope we can get some cooler heads here today and maybe hold some of these levels because if that doesn't hold, notice there's not a whole lot of support here in IWM until we drop all the way down into here. So that would be a pretty ugly sell off indeed and very painful for the market to endure. Um, let's take a look at um, the VIX. Now the VIX, whoops, I need to be able to type first. The VIX I have been talking about for some time and, and uh, running these warnings in here on this chart, whoops, like that, and um, suggesting that we have to be careful of complacency as we continue to push down and show no fear in this market as the virus outbreak was growing, and suggested that we wanted to watch these levels in here for that place where we could catch some price support and start rallying. I even mentioned the possibility that we could reach up in here and test this level in the chart and pointed out the possibility if real fear comes into the market, we could see these levels pretty easily um, in these charts. So we may not be done yet. Um, one thing I would hope for though is that we do catch a little bit of calming effect here being so oversold in such a short period of time that we do get a little rest or pullback here in the VIX but we'll want to watch that closely because if we gain support off of any of these levels in here we could certainly find that that just triggers the next uh, downside move in the market and we continue to push up toward those um, upper levels as this fear continues to grow. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And you can see we're down here pegged almost at zero in T2122, suggesting an extreme oversold condition. And typically, when you just go down here, you can see that we've we've had times when we've bounced around down here, stayed down here for a little while. So that doesn't necessarily mean that we have to respond right back up. We could stay down here for a while if the market just can't get uh, uh, its hands around the ramifications of this virus or if news continues to pile on to the downside. If we take a look over here though and, and notice that being down in this area we typically get these rallies off of these lows so if this begins to push back up it wouldn't be all that big of a surprise but also we want to make sure and remember that even if we push back up it doesn't necessarily mean that um, it's a buy opportunity it may just be rallying back up a little relief rally back up into the next potential short so we're gonna to have to be very careful about how we approach this market and plan your risk very carefully. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar does have some things on here that could move the market around a little bit. We have new housing numbers coming out today, new housing sales, and we have the petroleum status report. Now obviously with oil selling off below $50 a barrel and the demand, worldwide demand sinking dramatically because of of this, um, these companies shutting down, travel being limited, all kinds of things like that. It's going to be really interesting to see how this number comes in. This could certainly create additional pressure in that oil sector. So we'll want to watch that closely as that number comes in, um, just in case we get that additional push to the downside. If we happen to get some happy news, that could certainly help us here a little bit and um, maybe lift some of the spirits of the market and get a little bit of relief coming back into, uh, into the market. Keep in mind, we have a couple of Fed speakers today. Um, there is still no indication at all that this is going to push the FOMC into um, reducing rates. That's also giving the market a little bit of heartburn. So maybe we'll learn something new today from those speakers, but I think that's probably unlikely. 
Let's take a look. Our earnings calendar today, we have a huge day of earnings. But I got to tell you guys, today is not a day to be speculating or trading. As a matter of fact, if you have something else to do today, it might be really wise. Just shut your computer off and go get that that project done because we're likely to see really high volatile price moves and very difficult trading and really that is likely to last clear through into next week um, just imagine as we move toward this weekend the uncertainty continuing to grow as we head into the weekend the kind of damage that we could see um, in positions if we try to speculate or rush back in so consider that carefully and I really want to encourage you to uh, do some standing aside wait for that next trade entry to show itself and it may be a while if we if we don't if we don't trade over the next um, you know five six ten days that's not the end of the world as a matter of fact it could be the very best thing that happens to you because you protect your capital and avoid losing it in this wild market Uncertainty is something that the market hates, and and we are obviously showing that discontent right now in the market. Um, when this starts to bounce, we could have very wild swings, very big price action moves, big reversal type patterns intraday. And then even if you happen to catch the right trade and it's moving in your direction, the next morning open could reverse it once again and leave you trapped in that trade. So just be really, really thoughtful about how you want to trade this position, uh, these trades. Even very expen um, experienced quick day traders are going to find this to be a very challenging market to trade because of the volatility so keep that in mind now having said that we have a lot of stocks reporting earnings today we have lows reporting earnings today uh, let's keep an eye on that sq will be reporting earnings today tdoc um whoops TDOC is reporting earnings today. Looks like they're gapping just slightly up this morning um, um, in these numbers. Box reporting today. We have <laughs> BKNG um, bookings. Um, holy moly. Um, they're getting hammered here um, in this market and uh, brutal, brutal. So it'll be interesting to see how they report. Cars um, will be reporting today. Um, we might want to keep an eye on that. Etsy. Etsy will be reporting today. We have uh, SJM Smuckers. A little jelly. Um, STAY reporting looks like um, sta wow well really wide bid ass spreads as we wait for that earnings report holy cow um a lot of uncertainty there um pzza we like our pizza looks like pizza gapping up this morning papa john's moving a little bit higher this morning tjx reporting today Looks like it might be moving a little bit lower after its report. So as you can see, we have an awful lot of earnings reports that could move the market around. But the question is whether or not they will actually um, um, outweigh the um, the pressures that we're seeing from the coronavirus. Um, so we have to be really, really careful, guys, and just um, pay very close attention to the trades that you take. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. And, and I know it's, it, it, you know, I'm wishing you a fantastic day in a market like this. But um, a fantastic day can be a day when you save your money and um, avoid losing it. That is a fantastic day in a market like this. So consider that carefully. Now, if you're looking for trades, places that you might be able to find some things um, would be defensive sectors sector stocks. Um, th stocks like um, CLX. Whoops. 
Um, Clorox holding up very, very well. This is one of those big old defensive se sector companies. It's kind of an old, stodgy, boring type company, but doggone it, they pay a dividend yield, and um, we might see uh, trades like that um, become mainstays for a while as folks run to that relative safety. Um, Oops, MST, Monster. Monster is going to be reporting today. Now you can see it's had a massive downdraft here over the last couple of days. But if it reports well, we could see some of these defensive sector beverage companies try to hold up. Maybe look at stocks like, um, um, D big old uh, defensive type companies that are, that pay high dividend yields. There's no buy signal in here. There's no trade in here yet, but that may be a place where folks run to uh, to try and get some support. So just be really careful, guys. There is going to be a lot of pain and damage in this market, and I would just highly recommend. Uh, it would be a great day to just turn on Netflix, watch a movie, um, you know, um, go do something fun um, rather than watching this wild volatility um, and, and, and tempting you to take highly risky trades. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all the best. Sorry it's, you know, such a bummer of a report, but that's really the way it is today. And um, I wish you all of the best. Take care of yourselves, and we'll talk to you bright and early Thursday morning. And let's hope, let's hope Thursday morning is a happier morning. Take care, guys.